All right. So this is quite the disturbing story for many reasons. All right, let's get right into it. Um, so this was back in college. I graduated college uh, May 2018, so about a year or so ago. Uh, but I lived, uh, I dormed at college. Me and a number of friends did. Uh, so this was my senior year of college. Uh, my senior year of college, a little background of my living situation was I was living with uh, three friends um, in a suite. So it was basically uh, me and one of my friends on one side, uh, and then there's a little living room in, uh, in between, and then the other side are, are two other friends. So anyways, uh, my friend that I lived with, like in the same exact dorm, uh, Let's, uh, I'll, I'll call him a different name just to protect his identity. His name is Greg. Uh, so, uh, that was the first year me and Greg lived together, and we were friends at that point for like a few years. Um, and so there's this one really, really, really strange guy, uh, that went to our college, um, named, uh, let, let me give him a different name. I'll, I'll or, I don't need to give him a different name. His name is Josh. Uh, but so what happened was me and, um, or let me backtrack. Uh, so we met this kid junior year of college. Uh, there's another video I have uh, that like uh, a little animation I made that shows like the first time me and my friends met him. Um, but anyways, uh, my friend Greg, uh, and I, um, and like a few other friends, uh, would here and there interact with this kid, Josh, uh, because, uh, this kid, Josh would like run up to us and like start talking to us or whatever. Uh, but it, it all started, uh, because, uh, my friend Greg invited him, like kind of invited him to our lunch table at one point. Uh, and then from then on, uh, uh, Josh felt like he could just always, uh, like barge in any sort of public hangout we were doing. Um, but this kid, Josh, he, I'm not sure fully exactly what was wrong with him. I'm almost positive he had autism, but I think there's potentially more wrong with him. Maybe potentially early psychosis or something else wrong with him. Uh, he was quite strange. Um, but anyways, this kid, for some weird reason, believed that I would be president. He's like, uh, he's like John J. Michael IV for president and stuff like that. And like, it was quite strange stuff. Um, didn't make any sense. And he assigned all my friends to like be different parts of the cabinet. So he would say like, oh, Greg for vice president and like uh, uh, this other friend for secretary of agriculture, defense, blah, 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 this, that. It was all just so, so cringe and strange. Um, and he would like randomly say that like uh, not only like at random points in conversation, uh, barely conversation but uh and uh also he would like yell that across the room like when we would happen to like i don't know be at the cafeteria or enter some sort of uh academic building it was just so cringe and embarrassing um but so it started getting weirder and weirder over time uh like um our senior year is when he started kind of stalking us. Uh, thankfully, the dorm buildings there at the college I went to, uh, if you don't live in that dorm building, uh, you're, not, you're not able to get in. Uh, you're only able to get into the dorm buildings you, like dorm building you live in. Uh, so if you don't live in that dorm building, that other dorm building that you want to get in, you have to be like signed in, uh, like at the desk, uh, um, by the uh, person who lives in that building. Uh, so thankfully, he didn't know anyone other than us that live in that building. Um, so, but what he would do is he would wait outside the dorm building and he would skip his start skipping his classes a lot senior year for a semester. 
uh, also to be able to like see us like that uh, from outside the dorm building. Uh, so like once any of us would walk outside in the dorm building, he would run up to us and like be like, Greg for vice president, John J. Michael for president, blah, blah, this, that, this, that, this, that. Uh, and it was all just so cringe and strange. And we obviously did not want to like a talk or associate with him anymore, like starting long before, but he just like kept on going. Uh, but we're not the type of people to like, I don't know, like report everything. Uh, but maybe we should have set more hardcore boundaries on him though. Um, but, uh, we were kind of like stuck with him in a, in a tiny way in the sense that like Greg had a fuck buddy, uh, senior year, uh, let's call her, uh, Amy. Uh, um, but yeah, so like Greg, um, uh, and Amy like would fuck a decent amount or whatever, uh, and Amy happened to be friends with Josh. Uh, so it was like a kind of like a package deal. So Greg like would have to be there uh, sometimes at hangouts when Josh would be there. So he didn't find that very bearable. Um, but so it ended up getting worse over time. Um, thankfully, or yeah, so let me get to this. So there was one day where Amy and her other friend, let's just say the other friend's name is Nicole, uh, Amy and Nicole found little crap in bags, like a couple crap in, uh, in bags in Josh's room at random parts of the room. Uh, so Josh lives in a single dorm at the time. Uh, but that was obviously a really weird discovery they found, and they were debating whether or not they should hang out with him ever again after that, because that's pretty weird and strange. Um, but then a couple days later, Nicole found in her car crap in a water bottle, and crap wiped a little bit on the back of her car seat. So that was obviously disturbing, and that same day, they found in Amy's dorm, Amy and her roommate, uh, I don't know her roommate's name, uh, but Amy and her roommate found all around the room, like many parts of the room, crap in bags. So that is all obviously very strange, very weird. Uh, Amy, Nicole, and Amy's roommate all reported it, uh, to the campus police. Uh, and the very strange part about my college is they, uh, um, they would take certain things very seriously that did not matter or just, yeah, that just did not matter. And then, uh, then stuff that were very serious, they would like barely uh, address or take care of when they should. And this is one of those matters, one of those matters of that is quite intense, but they did not, they barely made any, any effort in condemning this horrible cringe behavior that has evidence. So, uh, yeah, they ended up reporting it. Um, and, uh, and that kid, Josh, didn't end up getting getting in any trouble and what happened was uh and also the campus police are considered state police uh for my college um and so yeah anyways what happened was the ra and the rd the rd is the uh, one who's in charge of the that dorm building uh uh it's like resident director uh said like oh uh you're gonna have to clean it up because we would have to get special custodians uh to pay to be able to like clean that up. So like, we'll just instead give you the supplies so you could clean it up or whatever. So Amy uh, and her roommate and Amy's dad like cleaned up that mess or whatever. Uh, and like on top of it, like that's obvious ev evidence, like crap. You could like test the crap and get the DNA and, it, and it'll obviously lead to him. Uh, but 
obviously uh but what happened was they never like they did almost nothing in the investigation and didn't bother doing like almost anything in getting this kid in trouble uh and so what ended up happening was this kid josh ended up like being like oh one he was failing his classes because he was skipping them because he wanted to like stalk us and stuff like that uh and two uh he was uh uh the reason why he ended up uh switching out uh was because, I mean, like at the end of that semester, he switched out to a different college, thankfully, uh, because he was like, oh, like nobody likes me here, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, if you're going to be stalking them and being like extremely cringe and disturbing and putting crap in bags and wiping crap places, oh my God. But so that's pretty much that story. Um, if someone... Uh, is claiming you're going to be president and waiting outside your house or place of living, uh, then there is probably something seriously wrong with them. Uh, I learned that, sadly, through this experience. I have very strange, unique stories. This is one of them, and you will hear many more if you look at the stories on my channel, so go check them out. Uh, so cringe. All right. Thank you for listening. Uh, bye-bye.